friends welcome back to simply our home and in today's video we are going to pick up a new hutch for my dining room so we're in the car scott is right there filling up gas and we're headed to pick up the hutch and then you'll be able to see me transform it with some chalk paint so i'm excited to share with you the beginning to the end of this transformation if you're new here hi my name is amy and welcome i hope that you'll consider subscribing before you go We got it all loaded into the back of our vehicle and it almost didn't fit but here is what it looks like it is a great find for only a hundred dollars off of facebook marketplace i love all the details and i just can't wait to transform this into a piece that i know i'll love for many years to come So first I'm going to remove all the pools and hardware before I thoroughly wipe the entire piece down from top to bottom, inside and out, using this product called Crud Cutter. It removes any grease, residue, and preps the surface perfectly for the paint to adhere to. Next, I'll be using the Rust-Oleum brand chalk paint in the cream chiffon color. I also picked up these chalk paint brushes by Infinity off of Amazon. Now I'll try to link all the products we use down in the description box so that you can go check them out. What I love about chalk paint is that you don't have to prime or sand the piece, so that definitely cuts down on the time as well as the mess. Now that the hutch is completely dry, I'll begin applying my first coat of chalk paint. Since the piece is in such great shape, I'm going to keep the top buffet surface the original beautifully stained maple color. Now, if you've never worked with chalk paint, be aware that it has a very thick consistency and it should be applied in thin coats without overworking the paint. Since I wanted a more solid color, this piece did take me three coats to achieve the look I was going for. And for the last coat or the third coat, I did switch over to my favorite brush, which is the Purdy XL Glide to reduce the appearance of brush strokes. Since chalk paint dries so quickly, I waited around 30 minutes between the coats, which allowed me to knock this project out in one day, which is another plus for chalk paint. Okay, friends, this is how the hutch is looking after the three coats. I'm really loving how it is turning out. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab a wet old cloth and do some wet sanding on a few areas that might have worn naturally, like corners and some raised details. I think this just adds some character and makes the piece that much more interesting. And of course, you could do as little as you like or as much as you like. So for me, I'm going to go for a little bit less distressing and give it a more clean cottagey look. So I think that's about all the distressing that I'm going to do. And remember, if you do make some mistakes, maybe get it too dark or something, you can always take your chalk paint, go back over it. So it's super easy to correct any mistakes with the wet sanding. So as you remember, this is what the cabinet or the hutch looked like before. And here is how it looks now, minus the hardware, which is what I'll be installing next. Then we'll move on to the part that I've been most excited to share with you all, and that is decorating it. So be sure not to click off just yet. You'll definitely want to see how it looks completely finished and styled. If you're enjoying today's video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you'd like videos like today's. You'll also find decorating ideas for all the holidays and seasons, cleaning motivation, shop with me's, and really anything pertaining to homemaking here on my channel, and I'd love to have you back. Moving right along to the hardware, I did want to update it just a bit and take it from the antique gold look to a more oil rub bronze. 
So this is what I'm using to spray paint them. So we're just gonna spray paint that, let them dry, and then in the morning I will install all of the new hardware and then begin decorating the hutch for the very first time with some neutral decor. Okay, so I've laid out some of the pieces that I would like to incorporate here in the hutch and I'm going for really neutral um, decor. So a lot of these pieces are from Southern Living at Home, like this picture as well as these bowls. I was a consultant with them, so I love incorporating their pieces. Now you can find some of their pieces on eBay as well as Facebook Marketplace, sometimes for really great prices. This is another Southern Living at Home find. So I'll just go around and let you know where I got everything. So this cute little farmhouse scale is from Decor Steels. Again, this is from Southern Living at Home. That's just a cute little Target dollar spot basket. This with the, I love the little wooden top with the metal pieces and it's white, it's a metal box now that is from Hobby Lobby as well as the faith hope and love sign the cutting board is from Amazon as well as the cloches they are from Amazon the little bottles in this chicken wire like basket that is from Hobby Lobby I picked this up from Walmart this also is from Hobby Lobby the cake stands are from Southern Living at Home. This is from TJ Maxx, this rolling pin. And then I had this, this is more something that I have no idea where I got that. That's pretty old. <laughs> and then coming over here, this cute little canister, also a Southern Living at Home piece. This was actually my mom's. I don't know where that came from. And then the tea towel is from Amazon. So we'll go ahead and try to come up with something very beautiful and neutral here on the hutch. I'm super excited, so let's get started. Here I'll be using this plaque from Hobby Lobby that says faith, hope, and love. And I love using things that represent my faith. And I love sharing Bible verses with you all. So today's Bible verse is 1 Corinthians 2, 5. And it says, your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God.
Wish that I could find the words to describe you now As I'm lying next to you and the world goes quiet Wish that I could make you see how you fit me perfectly And I fall, fall for you again We've been through it all You're the one who understands Okay, friends, well, that does it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed coming with me and transforming our hutch from start to finish. And maybe you got some inspiration to decorate a furniture piece in your house. Now, this only took me about a day, so it was super easy. And then I hope I gave you maybe some inspiration for some Nutra decor that you could use in your hutch. If you did enjoy today's video, I hope that you'll give me a big thumbs up. And also, if you know somebody who you could share it with, I hope that you'll just pass it along to them as well. Now, I'm super excited. Our dining room furniture should be delivered any day now. And so I'll be decorating in our dining room for spring and adding tons of flowers and greenery here on the hutch. I can't wait to share it all with you. Now, if you're new here, I hope that you'll consider subscribing before you go. Hit that little red subscribe button. I'd love to have you back. Well, until next time, I hope to see you on Simply Our Home. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.